ton of games. But then... We create a monster. I'm Alex Poff, I'm the captain of Team Boogeyman. Let's take a look at the bot. What we have here is a horizontal overhead spinner. It's unique because it has large wheels on the side which allow it to be invertible. It can run as an undercutter if necessary. We've got plenty of room up here for different front end attachments depending on our opponent. Let's have a look at the tail back here. So the tail serves two different purposes. If the bot flips, it'll right on tip of the tail and each wheel keeping the blade off the ground. And it's also going to have this articulating cam, which allows to adjust the blade height during the fight. The main theory behind this bot is to attack high rather than low. You got so many bots playing the ground game, where you got wedges, wedgelets, lifters, undercutters, vertical spinners that hit nice and low. This leaves a lot of juicy bits up high, where defenses tend to be a lot weaker. With the ability to adjust our blade mid-fight, we can bypass that ground game and we can hit lifter mechanisms, hammer mechanisms, flamethrowers, overhead saws, tops of wheels, whatever happens to be on top of the bot. We especially had vertical spinners in mind with this design. Vertical spinners like to hit low near the ground where the attack angle of their impactor throws the other bot to the air. We'll have our blade up high and possibly even angle back a little bit. By eliminating this low, sharp edge, the vertical spinner is much less effective and we would have the advantage in a weapon-to-weapon -weapon hit. We're super excited about this design and we can't wait to build it. How are we going to build it? With a full-blown CNC shop, of course. I spent three years working as a CNC machinist and we will have full access to the shop I used to work at. We'll have CNC mills, blades, water jet, wire EDM, welding, and heat treating all at our fingertips. For the mock-up, we water jetted all the panels out of wood, and doing the same thing out of metal won't be an issue. While we feel that our design and our workshop gives us a huge advantage, the biggest advantage is the team. Let's meet them. Oh. Didn't see you there. Tell you a story. It might have something to do with physics, and it might not. The main thing is Alexander Poff knows how to make robots. He makes these, 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 all of them, and he's gonna make one that's gonna win this show. And that's all I need to say for now. I'm Ryan Bell, I'm an engineer, and I'm the torque that keeps this team together. My name's Keenan Brotherton, I'm an engineer, and I love to break stuff. And how I'm going to make sure that this team goes the distance is I'm going to ensure that all our designs are further, you know, completely tested. Like, I'm going to throw them off the building. share with you today. Nah. What if I jumped out of an airplane with a couple of tanks of helium and one huge uninflated balloon? <laughs> How long of a fall would I need in order for the balloon to slow me enough that I could land safely? <laughs> I'd like to share something else. The comparator to these bots, and even better, the comparator to the bot that will be developed will not land gently. Thank you. We're ready to rock and roll and get Boogie Man in the Battle Box. Thanks for watching. <laughs>